Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you uh, some features in, on Data Compass. Data Compass, as you know, is our uh, one hardware and software complex data recovery tool introduced in 2008. And it was designed to uh, recover data from patient hard drives which are either logically damaged or physically damaged. And it has been updated for many times and has added many um, important features and functions such as shadow disk and emulation, SA emulation technologies. So today I'm going to introduce some of the, the new updated functions for you. Okay, now, now we can see this is a, a data compass box, which is console. Okay. So the, the data compass complex is made of three parts. One is the console box, and the second one is the, the, the software, which is its control panel, and the, the extraction program for you to actually do the recovery. So the hardware function is responsible for reading data from source drive and imaging the data using shadow disk function. And the, in the middle, the controller, which is cancer program, is designed for hardware control. The parameters of a controller panel program are automatically set by the console when reading the RCD. And the extraction program is designed for quick search of your hard drive's file system and to do recovery. OK. Now I'm going to take you through the several features of a data canvas. OK. So the first one of the new function is the PIO and UDMA. So which is actually a, a, a speed switch between a fast speed and a sl low sp slow speed. So PIO is a slow speed and UDMA is fast speed. So technically PIO is a program input output requiring processors to transfer data. And UDMA is ultra direct memory access, freeing the processor from data transfer and doubling the transfer speed. So basically, it's just a difference between the speeds. One is faster, one is slow. Okay, so now actually we have a demo to show you how fast the UDMA is and the speed difference between them. Okay, now I'll show you. So this is a real case. I'm going to do the sector server. Oh, this is like MHDD to check your sector status, the house's status. So now this is uh, PIO mode, which is, um, you can see the speed here. And now we're going to turn on the, the enable UDMA, and which is a lot faster, you can see. So this is very obvious difference between PIO and UDMA. Okay, this, this part is finished. So next one. Next function is status register and error register. So in the in the new version, this the new function is a status register and error re register. This 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 function is updated in order to make users find out the real time status of hard drive and no type of error easily. So actually, when you do a real case, so you you'll find you'll find the the on the console of DC, you'll find the different, different abbreviations of the words like error or index or something. They're blinkering or they're red. That means there's some problems. So if there's some problems show up, you just click on the configuration just like this picture, con con configuration on power reset. You check them, and you uh, click reset, and you can solve the problem. Okay. And also the power resetting reset setting for Seagate hard drive. This is basically for Seagate hard drive, and it's intentionally designed for that. It's for the 7200.11 and 12 drives. And also we have a. Okay, now this is a picture of showing you uh, the hard drive. Seagate hard drives having problems when doing image. So now we're going to use that function. 
power resetting function to solve the problem. So now we have uh, actually another demo to show you this, how this function works. Okay, now we are doing uh, um, the image for the Seagate drive 1112. You can see sectors are accessible and everything is fine. And actually something happens when we do an image. Something really, really bad. Now this guy's doing image, okay. Okay, this is just a normal CK hard drive and image itself. But so this is actually a bug of a CK drive. So when you do image, you show a very, it's a very bad sectors. So you cannot carry on the image process anymore. So for this case, you just go back to your uh, control panel and you check the Check the status, which is uh, actually in red, and you click set. And to power off and on back again to make it take effect. Now it's, it's set, and now we try again with the imaging process. Okay. So this, now you can see, and you will see, then it is going well. So the problem, the bug is fixed. Okay, so this is uh, the feature of the, the for the Seagate hard drives.